Good afternoon, my royalty years for life family. I pray that all is well with you. The queen is enjoying this blessed rain that the father is showering me with. Okay, okay. Let us get started with the message of the quay and the mystical life part one. All right, all right. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Now that's how Brother Easter, our Messiah, is speaking to us, okay? St. John chapter 14, verse 26. Truth is eternal and everlasting, that which was is and forever shall be manifest variously as it may one of the mightiest of truth is the mystical meaning of that which is of that which is inculcated in the universal teaching as to the uni as to the divine mother in every age in many languages and religions under many names and symbols does the loving mother speak to her children, us twelve tribes of Israel, all right, all right. In ancient Egypt, as Isaac, the feminine aspect of the Godhead, the productive principle, the bringer forth, brought in nature and in man. She bladed her children, us twelve tribes of Israel, gather together and prepare for the manifestation of her child as Horus, which is our Aisa, okay, our Messiah. In that age, the Divine Mother was depicted as gathering together and restoring to oneness, but burying, making esoteric, the severity members of the body of Orias, the Egyptian turn for the great creativity for the great creativity aspect of the Godhead which manifests to the cosmos as the cosmetic cost to our universe as the sun and to humanity as God our Father endless the Father of all our Father endless is the Father of all or that united body of universal truth given to all mankind the grand plan, the grand plan of, of manifestation and redemption this body has indeed been broken in many pieces by mankind throughout the ages and only the understanding love of the divine mother can gather the pieces together and reveal them as one the eternal living body of truth in jerusalem the son of the divine mother which is aisa our messiah for the pisces age in bidding farewell to all his faithful followers tell them that the divine mother now isa told us that the divine mother shall remain with them remain with us okay my people even unto the end of the disposition as a holy go as the holy ghost my people as the holy ghost so okay the holy ghost was our divine mother all right all right the comforter to teach them all things and bring all things to their remembrance for the esoteric truth has always remained with the faithful although hidden under esoteric creeds and dogma but the age has now donned it when that which has when that which was hidden shall be revealed it, and this buried body must be uncovered and restored to life and manifest esoterically in the hearts and lives of mankind this is but another call for the ingathering of all who love the father our father endless the mother the in god our father endless okay that there be but one universal sheepfold and one shepherd 
as the new as the new Aqua as the new Aquarian age, my people. Okay, the Aquarian age, so long foretold, burns for humanity, the outbreeding of the Holy Ghost. The Comforter shall speaks, shall speaks, and in no uncertain tones to all children who recognize her, to the twelve tribes of Israel, all right, who recognize her and proclaims to them, Behold, it is I, be not afraid, at the earth, at the urchin end of this Aquarian age, she comes under the name of Aquae, and true to the promise of our brother, our Messiah, our Isa, she brings to our remembrance all that he had told us concerning the new disposition when there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man, which is our Isa, our Messiah, the sign Aquarius in heaven. So the sign Aquarius is going to appear in heaven, people. Okay, okay. Lest any there be of her children, of us twelve tribes of Israel, who fail to recognize her as the divine mother, or who fail to see the signs and wonders brought forth by the outpouring of her divine love, as the gates of the new age swing open. These lessons which have been given to those who know whence they come are sent forth to all her children, all twelve tribes of the Israel, all twelve tribes of the Israelites, okay? For their comfort and instruction and to announce the reappearance the reappearance and prepare for the recognition and welcome of her son, our brother, our Messiah, Aisha. May the followers of universal truth in every land and land gather together at her knee, feel the warmth of her mother love and the protection of her arms around them and listen receptively and understandingly to her momious words, knowing that they be no new words, nor only cunningly contrived concepts of the mind of man, but age-old universal truth reiterated again and again in every age, in every age, my people, in language suited to the time and the people to whom they are given, which us 12 tribes of Israel, okay, okay, they given to us people, us Israelites. They are given and now again brought to the remembrance of all who through love can recognize their truth and who are ready to respond to her call. Duh! Does the message of Aquay, of the, the lesson, the message, my people, excuse me. Duh, does the message of Aquay naturally follows the voice of Isaac, of Isaac, my people, okay, okay. Message of, of Aquay, the mystical life, the mystical life, my people, okay, okay. Your life is hidden with our Aisa, our, our Messiah, in God our Father, endless, where there is neither Greek nor Jew. Now, you old stupid Gentiles, this is not talking about you, okay? This is still talking about our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, okay, okay? Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarians, Barbarians, my people, okay? You understand those old barbarians? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, my people, enough of that. All right, all right. Bar <laughs> barbarians, send in Von Norfrey. But I, I, Issa is all and in all. 
Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 and 11. O thou divine reality, thou who fillest all heavens and all earths, thou only art God, our fathers are endless. Thou only art one in all blessedness, glory and honor forevermore. Teachings of the order. Teachings of the orders, my people. Okay. After the days of horror through which the people of the earth have been and still are passing, there is already arising from out of the stricken nations and also from those others who have sickened at the sight. An instance an instant not instant my people an insistent cry for a new idea new ideas of life the old concepts have been weighted in the balance and found weighted in the balance my people okay i almost had to sneeze that's why i had to hold myself okay i had to hold my nose just so i could make that sneeze sound okay okay but I'm back. All right, all right. The old concept have been weighted in the balance and found lamentably warning. Hence, the eyes of millions are looking for something new, perhaps for signs and wonders that will give them some vital idea, some new concepts of life to guide them through, to guide them during the new disposition now dawning. The mere repetition of the old aqueduct concept can no longer satisfy. A hell after death can no longer appall after their mortal eyes have seen a hell on earth. No mere promise of a negative heaven of supine, of supine my people, you understand, and incipient. And Cynthia's bliss can inspire or comfort after the deeds of heroism and self-sacrifice. They have beheld in the days of Conrad, Conrad, the cry already goes up for a new heaven and a new earth in which righteousness shall dwell, omitting all reference to hell. One aspect of the divine law is that there can be no longing for the idea born in the human heart that is not a reflection of a divine reality which the soul dimly senses as a truth. Hence, there cannot be a soul cry or a sincere demand for righteousness peace and harmony that will not bring its own fulfillment in due season perhaps this universal demand which the horrors of recent years have created is the next step in the spiritual unfoldment of the race therefore those who know where to seek for the answer must be up and doing so ready to spread the glad message of, she of cheer and comfort that is found in a realization of the mystical life. But to convince others, we must first prove by experience and expression in our own lives that living the mystical life is a practical possibility. For the majority think that mysticism and Practical ability are like the opposite end of a magnet, while in reality they are from the central point where both blend, both blend together, okay? We must prove to the world that the mystical life does bring to the heart and into the life of every devoted follower a new heaven in which dwelleth righteousness. The righteousness of inspiring ideas, noble deeds, great sacrifices, and love for earth's children, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Giving him the ability to share this righteousness with